Well, Hillary today, a new, new housing block opened, yet more investment in Leeds, always good to see. It's terrific because a, a lot of people have worked really hard, Unity Housing of course, in partnership with Leeds City Council, Homes and Communities Agency, Keep Out the Builders, the Architects, all of the people, the housing managers who have been getting the new tenants in and selling these shared ownership properties. And it's wonderful to see new housing development in Holbeck. It's contributing to the regeneration of this really important part of Leeds. You go over the road and you see uh, all of the other work that's been done with the new housing there. And I think it represents progress and that in encourages the community. It helps to build the great community spirit that there is in Holbeck anyway. And it's a really good example of what we need a lot more of because we have a housing crisis, we've got people on waiting lists, they're overcrowded, they can't afford unaffordable rents, so affordable homes to rent or shared ownership because many people want to buy if they can afford it. It shows what we can do when we put our minds to it and what is our home? In the end, the home, our home is the place we feel most secure, it's where we meet our friends, we raise a family and it's so important to our life. So to have a good, new, energy efficient home in the heart of this community is a wonderful thing to see. And what's fantastic to see, it, it isn't just the case that this is a block of housing, that's it. Like you were saying, it's throughout the whole area, there's lots of regeneration. There is a lot of regeneration taking place, and that's good because some homes get old and tired and they're not really suitable for the modern age, and that's why I describe it as, as progress. But it's fantastic to see because when the ground's cleared and people wonder what's going to happen and, and, and will new development actually take place, and then you watch it rise from the ground, you see the roofs go on, and you see the people moving in, and including people from the local community, and that gives everyone a stake in it. it no, it's a really good day, and it was wonderful to have the pupils from England Road Primary School here today to hold the ribbon which I cut, and they've watched this development during their time at the school, and they're the future, they're the next generation. Now I know that these plans were put in place before Brexit, obviously I know that you were very much someone who wanted Britain to stay within the EU. Just in terms of things like this, do you think it will make a difference to this if you know the negotiations don't go right? Well, I, I hope it doesn't because the, the, the biggest risk is the impact that leaving the European Union will have on our economy. Because it's uncertainty. What business hates is uncertainty. And if uncertainty means that people don't invest in Britain when they otherwise would, then that's going to be bad for our economy, the tax that's paid, the money that government's got to put in schemes like this, the money that Leeds City Council has got, uh, the Housing Association has got, in this case, Unity Housing. So we have to make the best uh, of the decision that the British people have taken, and we have to respect that. But we want, as well as homes, People need jobs because that's what gives their family an income, enables them to support themselves and their loved ones. And it's really important that we uh, continue to have access to the European market. After all, 44% of the things we export go to Europe at the moment. So as well as trading with the rest of the world, which we did before and we will continue to do, we've got to get a decent deal out of this. And just finally, in terms of the Labour Party, and I saw on Twitter you were backing Owen Smith, just, do you think that he would be a good leader for the group? I think he'd be a very uh, good leader of the Labour Party. Look, the choice is now with members to take a decision. We're going to have a leadership election, and it's a very difficult job being the leader of the opposition. But the most important thing is we need a strong and effective opposition in this country to hold the government to account, because... If we're going to get more affordable housing, we need a change of government.